Hello Bright Sparks, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will be continuing with our book club or read aloud series. Last time we we started out with our book club and we started with the Lama Lama series from Anna Dwidney. Uh, this title says Lama Lama Wakey Wakey. Now, if you have not seen or or book club or first video that we started out with from our read aloud series it was also a llama llama book i do recommend that you watch that video as well when you're done with this one because we've started with the main focus within anna's books we've started um focusing on rhyming words she writes a lot and she she definitely tends to focus in on different types of rhyming words, different structures of how we can use rhyming words. So for our first book, uh, I noticed that she used a lot of rhyming words that had the same sound at the end and also they were spelled the same. For example, day, stay have the same ending sound and they're also spelled the same at the end. Now, there there are different sets of rhyming words and another, the opposite of that is rhyming words that are, they sound the same at the end, but they're not spelled the same at the end. So in this book, in her second edition of Lama Lama, I wanted to introduce, introduce this book to you guys because there is, you guessed it, a lot of different rhyming words that are spelt differently at the end. So let's get into our book for today. So again, the title says Lama Lama Wakey Wakey by Anna Twini. Lama Lama Wakey Wakey. Time to wiggle, time to shake. And guys, remember to listen up for those rhyming words and see if they're spelled the same. Brush your teeth and comb your hair. There he is. Find some nice clean clothes to wear. Now, let's pause for a moment. I think I heard two words with the same ending sound. Let me go back. So this one says, and comb your hair. When we come over here, it says, find some nice clothes to wear. So hair and wear. Do you guys hear the same ending sound? Yes, you do. So those two are rhyming words. But if you look on the word hair, the ending sound is A-I-R, right? It is spelled A-I-R, but it still says air. And the word wear still has the same ending sound, air, but it is spelled much differently from the word hair. It's spelled E-A-R. So that's the difference with rhyming words. You do have words that, that they have the same ending sound and they're spelled the same at the end, but there are others that are just not the same spelling. So let's keep reading. Eat your breakfast. Make a snack. Get the coat and grab the pack. So these two are rhyming words, pack, snack, and they are spelt the same at the end, ack. If you notice that, let's see if we have any more rhyming words. A kiss for me, a kiss for you. Time to start the day brand new. Ooh, I think I heard another rhyming word. Let's read that one again. A kiss for you. And then when we come over here, time to start the day brand new. So, you knew. I think those are rhyming words, yes? Mm -hmm. They do sound like they rhyme. Now, if we notice, new, you are not spelled the same. So again, that highlights that we can have rhyming words that sound exactly the same, but they're not spelled the same. So this is another great example of that. 
Now guys, thank you for staying with me and doing this read aloud edition with me. It was very fun. Next time we will be reading another fun, exciting book. Not sure by who, you have to stay tuned for that one. And we will explore more subject matters within those books. For example, rhyming or maybe something new. So guys, tune in next time. And before you go, be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed this video and also to subscribe to my channel. It really helps out our channel and I hope to see you next time. Remember, keep reading and keep staying bright. See you guys soon. Bye.